Hello, my name is Adrian Stevens. In this video I'm going to talk about setting recording levels using Audacity for a LibriVox recording. The goal of this is to get a uniform level of recording for all recordings. Why is this important? Well, if you're constructing a dramatic reading, taking recordings from different people, then you'd want them all at roughly the same sound level so that the editor doesn't have a lot of work to do in equalising the sound levels when he or she reassembles a part. If you think to YouTube videos, some of them have got uh, are preceded by advertisements. Generally these are set to be a very loud level and then the content of the YouTube video might be a lot quieter and you've got to adjust the volume. And it's the same deal if you're listening to different chapters from uh, different readers who want those chapters to be at the same sound level. In LibriVox we aim to achieve a sound level of 0.5 on Audacity. Let me explain what that means. So we're looking at the Audacity window here if we generate a constant tone and give it an amplitude of 0 0.5 you can see in the waveform display mode it shows it goes between plus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 and this is going to be our reference level for Audacity recordings I'll play a quick burst of this. Yeah, not very nice. And if we're setting our own sound level, we want it to be a similar level. So let's record a, a track. Testing, testing, testing. I'm recording a track using the Yeti microphone. If you look up here on the VU meter, you'll see that my speech is going at the minus six level. Let me stop this recording. Now, of course, being a recording of speech, it's pretty spiky. If I was looking at this, I'd say, yes, a lot of these spikes are at the 0 0.5 level, and that's about right. The 0 0.5 level corresponds to minus 6 dBs. I'll start this monitoring again. So, as you can see, as I'm speaking, my voice goes up and around down around the minus 6 dB level and this is the type of level that we're aiming for with a LibriVox recording. What happens if we set it too loud or too quiet? Let's get rid of these tracks and record a track which is way too loud. I'm going to use this Lavalier microphone, switch to this Testing, 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 one, two, three, four. I'm speaking too close to the microphone and I've turned the volume up for. I wonder what this will sound like. Let's find out. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Mary had a little lamb. And let's scale this so that it's at the minus at the 0 0.5 level. We do that by selecting all of the audio and we do effect. We could do a couple of this a couple of ways. We could do amplify and reduce it by 6 dBs or we could normalize it to minus 6 dBs. Let's do it by amplify it by minus 6 dBs. Well, it looks quite interesting. It looks kind of square and blocky, and that's because we've got something called clipping. The signal wanted to go further, but it couldn't, and so it's stuck at the extreme uh, plus and minus that of the signal it could record. So let's listen to this, see what it sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Mary had a little lamb. Well, that's roughly the same... Um, 
volume as when I was speaking into this microphone earlier, uh, but it sounds horribly distorted, and that distortion is due to the clipping. Now let's do the reverse and record it at far too low a level. So let's, uh, I've turned the record volume down. Let's record. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Testing, testing. And then we'll do one that's about right. I need to set the level, testing, testing, to about minus 6 dBs. That's about right uh, with the microphone where it is now. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Testing, testing. Well, you can see this was a little bit over at the uh, start. I, I reduced the level of my voice a little bit. Well, with the first of these, we can't really see any signal at all. If I switch to waveform dB, that will give us more detail. Well, <laughs> a couple of little blips. And if we play that, we won't hear anything. Nope. Way too soft. So now we're going to use the normalize function. Effect, normalize, normalize it to minus 6 dB. Let's see what happens. Well, it certainly got bigger. We can now see the speech. We can also see a lot of noise here. That's what's filling in this otherwise quiet period. Let's listen to this. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Testing, testing. Oh, that was horrible. Let's switch this to waveform dB and uh, listen to this thing. Thing. Uh, from the start. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Testing, testing. Well, that sounded OK, apart from there's uh, an electrical whine in the background. And that's a problem with this very cheap Lavalier microphone that I'm using. We can perform noise reduction on both of these to get rid of the background noise and see what effect that has on the speech. Now, I describe noise reduction in another video, so I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to do it. Get noise profile, effect noise reduction, reduce by 12 dBs. I'm going to do that again. And we can see most of the noise has now gone away. Let's listen to this. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Testing, testing. Well, the wine has certainly gone away. Um, the voice now si sounds a bit processed. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. But uh, just about acceptable. Let's try the other track. I'm going to do noise reduction. Get the noise profile, select the track, apply noise reduction, the same amount. That didn't re reduce it very much, so I'm going to repeat it. Control R, and again. That's more or less got rid of the noise. Let's hear that. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Testing, testing. That sounds absolutely horrible, as if I'm underwater. And the reason is that there wasn't much um, difference between the signal level and the noise level, and by taking away noise, we've also taken away a lot from the signal. With the other one, we started with less noise, and because the noise was um, mainly composed of a high-pitched whine, which is easy to remove, um, it didn't damage the speech too much. So to summarize what we've seen, it's important to set the volume to a level that corresponds to about 0.5 on the Audacity waveform display. And we can do that by setting the record level to roughly minus 6 dBs on the monitor. And if we get it wrong, as long as it's not hugely too loud or hugely too soft, we can adjust it using either normalize, normalizing it to minus 6 dBs, or using the amplifier to make it a little bit or a little less loud. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. My next video is on the checker program, which helps us to test that we've set the levels to the correct value. Goodbye.